Hi guys, welcome to my channel. We're going to be watching The Foster Season 4, Episode 5. This one is called 40. If you guys would like to follow me on Twitter, would like to get early access to my reactions, would like to watch the full reactions over on my Patreon, links are down below. Let's get into this episode. You are like a foot taller since I last saw you. And his voice is like an octave lower. No, it isn't. Oh, Lord. <laughs> my baby daughter's 40th birthday party. I wouldn't miss it for the world. Although I suppose it means I'm finally old. Yes, you've been old for a while, dear. I'm thinking that we should cancel our room at the hotel and spend the whole weekend here. Why? Well, I we think could spend more time issues. with our grandkids. I mean, they could stay in Brandon's room. Yes, and where would Brandon sleep? Jesus. Oh. What? They don't know. I'm sorry. Where does Brandon live? With his married girlfriend and her three-year-old son. <laughs> Maya. Uh, oh, boy. She's um, getting a divorce. Well, then. So long as she is getting a divorce. Don't judge them. It's not their choice. Brandon to move in with an older woman and her child. She's hardly an older woman. And believe me, we're not allowing him. He's 18. So you don't approve? It's not that we don't approve of her. We just don't approve of the situation. Actually, I was thinking you should invite Court to the party, personally. <laughs> me? Why me? Because it's my 40th birthday party, and I'm pretty sure I'm not the one she's afraid of. <laughs> Um, Zena, I, I really don't think that this is going to fit in here comfortably. But... Sweetheart, just set it up in the living room. Stuart can sleep down there. Okay. I knew they were having issues. Something going on with you and Daddy? Turns out there's a reason that your father doesn't want to be alone with me in a hotel room, and it has nothing to do with spending more time with his grandchildren. Don't tell me they're getting a divorce. He's having an affair. Oh. How does she know that? Did he tell her that? His headphones are broken. I'm trying to get the sound to come out of both earbuds. He's very picky about touching the cord. Stop. Dang, you must be desperate for money, huh? Well, yeah, kinda. Rent's coming up, and court's divorce is gonna cost a ton, so. How much? 5,000 bucks? Holy. You have 24 hours to build a robot that can pick up this block and dump it into this basket. The club will then vote for a winner based on speed, design, and creativity. They'll be working together in teams of three, so choose wisely. You're gonna take the one other girl that's in the group. Wow, didn't see that coming. Wanna join us? It's not because he doesn't actually exist. <laughs> You say so? Of course, uh, some people say Bigfoot exists, but uh, I won't believe it until I see it with my own eyes. You think you can help me? Uh, well, we gotta find something to get them to open the case back up. We talked to your mom, and she said that there was a witness, an alibi witness, who your lawyer never contacted. Patrick Malloy. He worked at the rec center. That's where I was the afternoon that Mrs. Johnson was killed. You, you know, I, I didn't do it, right? I mean, I, I, I would never have hurt her. She was always really nice to me. I believe you. Well, when are you taking the test? Because I was thinking that uh, maybe... It's tomorrow. <laughs> oh. uh, is, isn't that a little late for a tutor? Well, yeah, but, you know, I was kind of thinking that you could I'll take it take for it me. for him. Uh, I, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I, I can't do Look, that. Look, I'll pay you. It's a thousand bucks, cash. He's gonna do it. It was raining. We were all inside. I, I was watching the game with Patrick. We were yelling at the refs because Griffin kept getting fouled and they weren't calling. I'll come see you again. I won't be here. I turn 18 next month, so... They're moving me to Folsom Prison. We'll talk to Malloy. We'll find him. He's been sneaking around because he's putting together this video for Mom's retirement party. Honest to God, it made me want to cry. He's got everyone sending these little video clips saying nice things about her. Is that the sweetest thing you've ever heard? Yeah, it, it is. So what do I do? Do I do I tell her that's what he's been up to so she stops acting so paranoid? Well, oh, kind of ruins the surprise, doesn't it? It's true. Why was Steph looking like that? 
we could attach the zip ties to the pipes, arrange them vertically, and if we could program the pipes to spin around fast enough... It'd act like a vacuum. <laughs> We'd win for sure. That's kind of brilliant. But no way the ties can lift the block. Well, what if you use these instead? Yeah, and how do you suppose that we attach this around this? Fine. So, uh, you want to hang? Uh, I'm kind of busy here, Jesus. Yeah, boy toy, run along. Okay, we're making a video for Mama's party. Like, the party that's tomorrow? Yes, and I need you to edit it for me. Well, I can't. And shouldn't you have gotten on this, like, weeks ago? Yes, Mariana, I should have, but I just thought of it now. Because <laughs> she well, got the idea from... Did you to do it? Do her what? Her father-in-law. <sighs> That's why she was looking weird. Mama's birthday video. I just need one of my computer savvy children who loves me <laughs> to help me put it together. What do you say? Uh, I can try. Really? I mean, I've never edited anything. I, but... I might know someone who can help. Yeah? Oh, Ooh. the guy from the church? Noah. <laughs> I uh, here wanted to invite you to Lena's birthday party. It would mean a lot to her if, and, and to me, of course, um, if you would come. Um, so, it's a 70s theme party, and don't know how quickly you can get together a pair of bell-bottoms on such short notice, but it would, uh, it would be great if you could come. Thank you. Yeah, um, I, I'd love to come. Great! Okay. Uh-oh. Oh. oh, boy. Kyle says he was with you at the rec center on the day that Mrs. Johnson was murdered. You were watching a Clippers game. Do you remember that? Yeah, I do. Yeah, it was raining, you know, so all the kids were inside. It was crazy. But I, I don't remember Kyle being there. Are you well, sure? You described he the same said thing. You were complaining about the refs. Sorry. Would it have been possible for uh, a kid to be at the rec center and forget to sign in? Yeah, sure. I mean, if it was busy and nobody noticed. He was a nice kid. I wish I could help. Thanks. He described the exact same thing, though, with the raining and everyone inside. Look, it was four years ago. It's possible he just doesn't remember seeing Kyle, but it doesn't mean that he wasn't there. I just really thought for a second, I guess nothing's ever that simple. I've been in juvie twice. It was pretty awful. But Folsom, it's got to be hell. just don't know if we'll make it. Ugh. What can I say about Lena? She's perfect. And it's weird, because that is usually something I hate in a person. I mean, really, what's more... Oh, she's a trip. <laughs> you have no idea. <laughs> okay, so you just want to move the cursor to where you want to make the cut, and then you can dissolve or, or fade or whatever. Hey, thanks for showing me all this. No, no problem. I do this kind of stuff for my church all the time. <gasps> I do this all the time. What? <laughs> Nothing. No, what? I was online and I saw that Connor's in San Diego. Did he tell you he's coming? Who's Connor? Ex-boyfriend. He's uh, my ex-boyfriend. He moved to LA, so we broke up. Hey, did you find something strong enough to lift your cube with? No, I'm trying something else. What if you don't have to? I figured why go around the pipe if you could go through it. Hey, he's helping. It's bound to happen. I mean, I used to say that's a boyfriend. Maybe that's just a friend or a relative. Nineteen seconds. Okay, that's the time to beat. You're next. You've got to be kidding me. We got this. Come on, girls. Oh, <laughs> nine seconds. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Did you say something earlier? So. They still have to vote, yeah. though. And I don't know if the name who's going to vote for them if they're all a boys' club, you know.
Good luck. Thank you. Okay, so I've tallied all the votes, combined that with the points earned for speed, and we have a winner. Aiden, Dan, and Jeffrey. Yes. Um, our robot completed the task in less than half the time. And it couldn't have done that without the superior design and creativity. True, but those are subjective assessments. Maybe, but ours was also autonomous. That's worth double the points in competition. If Anchor Beach is gonna beat these bigger schools, we can't do it with the same designs and same old strategies. We've gotta be different. You know what? You're right. And I apologize. I'm overturning the club's decision. Are you serious? Look, I get it, but you should have voted for them in the first place, and you know that. Oh my god! All right, congratulations. <laughs> really? Way to play the girl card. Wow. Way to play the boy card. Brandon! Hey! Brandon! Uh-oh. Damn, <laughs> Come here, give me some sugar. Oh, oh, oh. Mm. Watch the lips, that lipstick took me half hour, believe it or not. Oh, come on now. <laughs> You're getting our house appraised? Oh, uh, well, I completely forgot to mention it, uh, my apology. Dana and I are switching financial advisors, and we're uh, restructuring our trust and putting all our ducks in a row for retirement, you know? Okay. And this new guy, he uh, wants a complete list of all of our assets and our obligations, and that includes the house, because I'm a co-borrower on the loan. So he's probably just being overly thorough, that's all. That sounds weird. I'm just confused, why would he list our house as an asset? Um, I guess because technically it is.